Hey basketball players, so today I just decided to come out to the court. I know it's a little bit windy right now. I'm about to do a workout out here, uh, but just wanted to give you guys a message today. I want to keep this short, but it's something that I think a lot of basketball players need to improve on, especially at the younger levels, middle school and high school. Basketball players nowadays all seem to care about the attention that comes with the game. They don't really love the game. They don't love the grind. They just love the attention that they get. They love getting their highlights posted during workouts. They love uh, getting highlights posted in games. They love the attention on social media. They love getting more likes and followers and stuff like that. All that stuff is great, but it's gonna lead to emptiness eventually. If you're a basketball player, you have to love playing the game because those likes, that attention, that fame, that playing time, all that stuff that you strive so hard for is not always gonna be there. So you have to enjoy the grind. You have to enjoy the hustle. You have to enjoy the things that get you to that place where you eventually wanna go. Using those things as incentives are just not gonna be enough in the long run. And then on another note, I see a lot of basketball players not finding the balance between working on their skills and also playing in games. Sorry it's windy today, you guys, but I still just feel like I need to get this message some of you guys work out all the time working on your skills and are really sharp with those. And then some of you guys play in a ton of games all the time, every single weekend going to games, going to tournaments and everything. While both of these things are very important, I see a lot of people either on this side working out too much and not playing at all, or on this side just playing in games and never getting work in on their skills. I see that there needs to be a balance between the two. When you do workouts, make sure that you have live sessions, live actions when you're doing workouts. You have to be playing against somebody in order to know how to read and react so that way when you get to games, organized games like a high school game, you're gonna know what to do. While also playing in games gives you all the experience but you might get rusty on your skills. You're not gonna make as many shots because you didn't make as many shots in practice. You're not gonna be able to handle the ball as well because you are spending too much time in games which doesn't allow for a lot of reps. A lot of kids over here playing AAU, parents are paying a lot of money for you to go sit on the bench on an expensive vacation where you're not even gonna be getting the amount of time that you need to get better. So there's a balance here. You need to be able to be playing in games because that's important to your development. But also, you need to be able to be putting in work on your skills. So keep these things in mind. Ultimately, I just want you guys to get better, but these are two problems that I see basketball players facing uh, ever since I was playing. I see a lot of basketball players just vying for attention, vying for the things that the game can get them, but not really putting in the work themselves. And then I see a lot of players on both ends of the spectrum, not working out enough or also not playing in enough game. And you need to find the balance of it all. And ultimately, just find the love for the game. The game is so important and you guys have to be able to understand that the love for the game is what's gonna push you guys to that next level. The ones who make it are the ones who persist through it and the ones who don't quit even when they're faced with adversity. Again, I hope you guys can fix these issues. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave them in the comments below. Other video ideas in the comments, but it was just a quick video today. Wanted to get this off my chest to let you guys know how I'm feeling about it. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.